Hey guys, today we're going to make a cinnamon swirl cake. This cake is so quick and easy and so fluffy and moist. It's really just amazing. When I made it, it turned out perfect. So I thought I needed to share this recipe with you guys. So let's get started. The ingredients that you will need are For the batter you will need 2 cups of all-purpose flour 2 teaspoons of baking powder Half a teaspoon of baking soda 1 cup of sugar 150 grams of butter 1 and 1 third cups of sour cream or thick curd 4 eggs slightly beaten and a teaspoon of vanilla extract. For this world you will need 3 fourth cup of brown sugar 170 grams of butter 1 tablespoon of flour and 1 tablespoon of cinnamon. So what are we waiting for? Let's preheat our oven. We are going to preheat our oven to 175 degrees. I have greased and lined my baking pan with parchment paper. You need a 10 into 10 or 9 into 13 inch. <laughs> to make the batter and swirl, you will need an electric beater or a whisk. I'm going to be using an electric beater. First, I'm going to beat my butter for 30 seconds. Then I'm going to add in the rest of the ingredients and we'll form a batter. Now we're going to add in the rest of our ingredients. going to beat this until it's all mixed together. Don't overbeat it. And that's it. Our batter is ready. It's so fluffy and looks amazing. Now we're going to make our cinnamon swirl. I'm just going to wash my attachments and then we'll make the cinnamon swirl. I'm back, I've washed my attachments, so now let's make the cinnamon swirl. First, we're going to add in our butter and make sure your butter is at room temperature. Mine is a bit too soft. Now we're just going to 
going to whisk our butter for 30 seconds. Now we're going to add in our brown sugar. Our flour and our cinnamon. And now we're just going to beat it for a bit until it's fluffy. And that's it. Our cinnamon swirl is ready. You just have to beat it for 30 seconds or a minute and then you get this wonderful consistency. Now we're going to pour in our batter into our mold. Now we're just going to spread it. Now we're going to add dollops of our cinnamon swirl onto our batter. to take a knife and we're going to swirl it. Swirl it all around so that it's evenly spread. Our cinnamon cake is ready. Now we're going to bake it in the oven for 30 minutes. See you after it's done baking. Our cake is ready. I checked it with the skewer and it is done. So now let's take it out.
while we let our cake cool down for five minutes, we're going to make the glaze. For our glaze, we need one cup of powdered sugar, two to four tablespoons of milk or until you have a flowing consistency and half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. All we have to do now is whisk it together. Add the milk gradually so you have control over the consistency. It should not be too thick, you just need a flowing consistency. There we go, the perfect consistency. Now we're going to drizzle it on top of our cake. I recommend you eat this warm or at room temperature. I'll see you for the tasting. Now let's taste it. There's our cake. It looks amazing. I'm going to cut myself a big slice. This is our cake. It looks fantastic. Now let's taste it. Mmm. It's
it's so wonderful. The texture of the cake along with the sweet sugar glaze, I got no words to describe it. You should definitely try this out for yourself and see how it tastes. I'm sure you won't be disappointed. See you until next time.